Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to update number one on the HC6 build project from Cross RC. This is gonna be a 12th scale, six by six military truck. One of my favorite trucks of all time uh, for military wise. Uh, just really like the deuces or the deuces and a half is what they call them. They're just a super awesome truck. Now, give you a good update on the build here so far. I've been working uh, quite a bit on it. Uh, usually almost like every night for about an hour or two, me and my dad would actually work on the project here and uh, getting it built and everything. So, first off, I found out is that uh, when I was initially talking to my buddy Paul about the getting the truck and everything, he's like, with Crossman, he's like, you gotta put everything together, the axles, the transmission, all the gears and stuff like that. And I was like, oh well, I guess I'll, I'll try it. But uh, after opening up and everything, I found out that uh, Cross has changed up the platform and they went ahead and pre-assembled everything. The axles has been pre-assembled, the transmission has been pre-assembled, the transfer case, all that's been uh, put together right. And so all I had to do was just go back and apply some grease in the axles, the transmission, the transfer case and stuff like that. So that saved a good bit of time on the build. So I didn't have to worry about the mechanical wise of it, just had to, like I said, go back and grease it all. So let me show you what I got so far done. Uh, so first is the two speed transmission. As you can see, this thing is massive, big, about, almost about the size of my fist is how big it is. Now it has a uh, 45 turn brush motor from Cross RC. Now I've probably been going to look at switching out to a 55 turn motor. Uh, I'm running the 55 in the TF2, which is the Trail Finder 2 there, and it seems to do pretty good. I get the mount of torque and wheel speed to pretty much crawl up whatever, and so I might do this with this truck since this is gonna be a heavy truck and it's gonna need the torque ability to, to, <laughs> to move around. Now I also got the steering servo for the uh, for the two speed there, already engaged. This is uh, for Taba. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, the, the Fataba SPS 14B, now I'm not exactly sure on the torque wise, this is something I had laid around uh, until I can get the uh, actual servo that I wanted for it, uh, so I just have to make the order for that. Trans transfer case, you said, like I said, everything has been uh, already pre-built, I just went in there and greased it up, not a problem. Next thing I want to show you is the front axle and the suspension setup. So here it is, all put together. Looking pretty sweet. If I can get the camera to focus, 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 focus. It might try to focus. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Switch it over and manual. Get you a better, there we go, okay. So as you see, Got the leaf springs, the shocks here. Now these are not oil shocks, they're kind of like damper shocks. They have a spring inside. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, it was nice not had to deal with any kind of oil. Uh, the metal axe uh, drive shafts on there. Um, so yeah, so that is one part done. Now this is the one part that just got finished up actually uh, just the other night. Worked on it is the rear setup. Look at this my friends. Let's see if we can get a better focus. There we go. Look at this. Massive. There's about five leaf springs. Uh, some are plastic, some are metal. So, yeah, it kind of gives you a good idea. And these, it's heavy. I want to say at least around by about mm, maybe three, four pounds at that. It might be. But, uh, crazy. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah. So all you got the uh, dry shaft installed in it as well. So my next uh, thing I'm going to be working on is getting the uh, getting the chassis built, which I actually have it down here in the floor. Here's one of the chassis rails. 23 inches long on the chassis wells, uh, chassis rails. <laughs> so, but after the, the uh, after the truck is complete we're looking at about 25 inches long uh, of it so kind of gives you an idea of lengthwise of how big this truck is actually going to be so uh, yeah so uh, that is the update on the HC6 
and uh, it's coming together well. Uh, and you know, ran into a few snags before, but nothing too, nothing too bad. Now, I do want to clarify this right here. This is a tenth scale vehicle, but it is also a twelfth scale. Now, why is this? And you're probably you know, just like, what? What do you mean? So when I first got it, it actually was supposed to be a tenth scale. The box said twelfth scale on it. So I contacted uh, Cross RC about it, and what they told me was that the reason why they did it in a tenth scale chassis and a twelfth scale body is that by doing a tenth scale body and chassis, it would have cost way too much for people to actually afford. So they said we did a 12 scale body to cut down the cost so it's more cost efficient for the you know for the consumer. So I was like, yeah, you know, that makes sense. You know, to me I did the same thing with the Humvee, the M1025 Humvee that I have. They did the same thing, 12 scale body on a 10 scale chassis. And that kind of brings the scaleness of it, because uh yeah. <laughs> so just a little tip for you guys out there if you want to know, uh you see it saying 12 scale, but it's 10th scale, it's 10, it's 10th scale, just with the 12th scale body. But yeah, so that is the update on the HC6 build project. Uh, I'm working on it, and I'm not rushing myself through this project. I'm working on it like an hour here, two hours maybe, uh, installing it, putting it all together. So uh, I'm not really rushing on it. It's something I want to take my time and do this thing right because this is a monster rig which I also came up with a name for this rig and I'm actually going to call it the behemoth. Now, uh, behemoth means huge monster or huge object and so I'm just going to call it behemoth. <laughs> so yeah. Alright my friends, so that is it on the update of the video of the HC6. Uh, so I'll continue to give you guys updates as I build it. Like I said, next step is doing the chassis uh, and then installing all the other stuff as well and we'll see all right my friends well thanks for watching and i will see y'all in the next upcoming video of the hc6 build project thanks for watching see y'all later